We're going to try another flipped lesson. We're looking at Chapter 5, Systems of Linear Equations. So remember, you take down the notes. You're going to write them in your notebook. If you need to pause the video, please go ahead. If you need to rewind it to listen to something again, that's what you're going to do. If you have questions, you're going to write those in the side of your notebook so that we can look at those either later or tomorrow. So Systems of Linear Equations. So remember, linear equations are equations that form straight lines. So here in my example, I have two linear equations forming straight lines, and we're going to look to see where the two intersect. So that's kind of what the purpose of this next section is going to be. Section 5.1 is solving systems of linear equations by graphing. So we're going to solve our uh, systems in two different ways. The first way is through graphing. So remember, systems of linear equations are set of two or more. We're going to just stick with two linear equations with the same variables. So remember, variables are like x and y. So remember, we have y equals mx plus b. x and y are our variables. m was our slope. And b is our y-intercept. So that's what they mean by systems with the same variables. And that form lines that intersect cross each other. So we see our two lines cross or intersect here. And remember, our solution we always write as pairs, x and y. x always comes first. I try to remember alphabetically. So here our x is 1 and our y is 3. So that's what we're going to be working on. I'm going to take you step by step through the process so that we can learn how to do this. So again, here just shows you two more lines and where your lines intersect. That's the solution. And again, we're going to write them as x and y pairs. X always comes first. You're going to write down the steps that we need to use to find our solution. So step one, you're going to graph each equation using the same coordinate plane. So remember, coordinate plane is when we're graphing in our x and y coordinates. So we're going to use the same plane to put both of our lines on. We're going to find the point of intersection, or where they cross each other, or they intersect. And then we're going to check our answers by substituting in the x and y answers. So what that means is after we have found our x, y pairs, we're going to substitute those in in the equation y equals mx plus b. You'll substitute in the x, and then you'll substitute in the y to make sure your answers are correct. So you can then substitute in the y. So that's how we can check our answers. So here's our first example. Again, go ahead and write this down. So we're going to solve a system of linear equations by graphing. So here's our two, here are two equations, y equals 2x plus 5, and y equals negative 4x minus 1. And you can graph um, using whichever method you choose if you want to use the chart. So remember that we did the chart where you select some x's, you write in your formula, and then you calculate what your y is or you can use the slope-intercept form. So I'm going to use slope-intercept form. So first I'm going to draw the coordinate plane so that we can graph. So our first equation is y equals 2x plus 5. And if you recall, we used y equals mx plus b. And b was our y-intercept, so we know that the line has to intercept the y-axis at a positive 5. I'm going to label my axes. There's x and there's y to the sky. So I know if I count up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's where I'm going to put one of my points for this graph. Now I'm going to use slope. So slope is the m. So I'm going to use slope for my next one. And I know that the slope is 2, and we can really assume that it's 2 over 1. So remember, slope is the change in your y over the change in your x. So this means I want to move or change my y 2 in the positive and 1 in the x positive. So if I'm starting at 5, I'm going to move up to 1, 2, and over 1, and put my dot. And then I know that if I have a negative divided by a negative, that also gives me a positive. So I'm going to go down 2 and over 1 and put another dot. And then I'm going to connect those dots using a ruler so that I get 
the best straight line that I can. Okay, so that's my best straight line. Now I'm going to look at my other equation, and I'm going to use a different color so that you can see the difference in these two. So my other one, my other formula, is y equals, you know what, let's get rid of this x though because it's going to get in our way. We want y equals negative 4x minus 1. So remember from the other side, y equals mx plus b. So I know my y-intercept is right here. So at my y, I have to be at negative 1. So we put my dot there at negative 1. And then my slope is the m. So slope equals negative 4. And again, I can assume that there's a 1 on the bottom. So remember, negative is to the down and to the left. So if I go down 1, 2, 3, 4, and to the right one, that gives me a negative number. Because remember, if I go down and left, that's a negative and a negative, which gives me a positive. So I also know I can go up four, one, two, three, four, and because that's a positive, then I can also go to the left one to get my negative. Oh, look, that's where they're going to intersect. So now I'm going to draw my straight line as best as I can, and I need you guys to always use your rulers. So my point of intersection, which is also the solution to my problem, is, remember I'm going to put my x first, is negative 1, positive 3. Okay, so we're also going to check these answers. So I just had to clear my screen so I have a space to write. So remember, we had our x was negative 1, and our y was 3. And we can plug those into each of our equations to make sure that they work. So let's plug it into the first one. I'm going to write the first equation. So this is how we check our answers. So I'm checking. So I sometimes forget, so I'm going to write it down below, x and y. So my y is 3. There's my x is 1. So let's see if this works. But I have a negative 1. Don't forget that. So I have 3 equals negative 2 plus 5. So if I'm at negative 2 on the number line and I go 5 to the positive, I end up at 3. So that one works. Now let's check the other one. So I have y equals negative 4x minus 1. And I'm going to plug in my y is 3. Negative 4 times my negative 1 minus 1. So let's see, we have 3 equals negative 4 times negative 1 gives me a positive 4 minus 1 and 3 does equal 3. So I checked my answer and it actually does work. Okay, so now you're going to try one on your own. So here are your two equations, right? So you're going to use those two. Um, you can use whatever technique you want. You're going to graph them on one coordinate plane, and you're going to find the point of intersection. And then remember, you're going to check your answer by plugging in your x and y that you find in the end to your x and your y in each equation. Once you're done, you should see that text box over to your right. And you're just going to type in, um, you're going to use parentheses, you type your number, comma, Type your number and parentheses to give me the answer that you've calculated. Okay, so you should be typing in the answer in the text box it's on the right. So here's another one. You're going to use the same technique. Calculate your answer and then type your answer, your x and y coordinates, into the text box on the right. And one more. You're going to try this one also and find out um, where they intersect. And give me an answer on the right. Okay, now we have our favorite a word problem. So we're going to look at a kicker. Scores. One point for each extra point and three points for a field goal. A kicker makes a total of eight extra points. 
so they're total, and field goals and scores 12 points. Write and solve a system of linear equations to find the number of x extra points and y field goals. Okay, so we first have to come up with our equation. So we know from this first one So we know that the kicker makes a total of eight extra points, right? Eight extra points. So we know that x plus y equals eight. And then they know the score they get is 12 points. And the score is one point for the x's and three points for each y. So here's our two systems of linear equations, and we're going to graph those. Okay, so now we're going to graph each of those systems of linear equations. So we had, oops, sorry. Goodness, where did I end up? There we are. So we know our first equation was x plus y equals 8, and our second one was x plus 3y equals 18. Okay, so if we graph these, and I forgot to put graph paper on my notes, um, it's hard for me to see the form, so I want to put this in y equals mx plus b form. So I'm going to say y equals, if I subtract my x from each side, negative x plus 8. You do the same thing over here to get it into the right form. I get 3y equals negative x plus 18. Need to get rid of that 3, so I'm going to divide everything, not just the 18. Everything needs to be divided by 3 y equals negative one-third x plus six. Okay, so now if we graph those. Okay, so here's my point of intersection on my first line. It's a positive eight. And then my slope is really one over one. So if I go down one and over one, whoops. Sorry, if I go down one and over one, down one, over one, down one over one and continue I'll get that straight line now I'm going to do the same thing for my other equation I know y has to equal positive six so six is about right here on my crazy graph and now I know my slope is negative one third so if I go down one I should go over three one two oh I wonder if that's my point of intersection I'm also going to go the other way so I'm going to go up one and over three. Okay, 